Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to repair a leaking tap, a worn tap seat. So here is a tap seat, it is worn out, and uh, I don't think you can actually um, grind it down anymore, so you're going to need to replace it with a new uh, tap seat. Now what the plumber asked me to do is to um, break down the wall, break down these tiles, take out the tiles, and replace the whole uh, internal components, the tap. Line. Now I want to try something else first and you should try it first before you go down to that route before you decide to um, um, to uh, take out the walls because that can be more expensive and getting the plumber to come to do the work can also be uh, quite expensive. Now you can see it's, it's leaking quite a lot right there and if you look down here if you look on the cold tap you can see uh, there's a big gap right there so on the hot water there's not much big there's, there's no big gap now this is because um the gap because the gap here is worn out the tap seat it has been grinded down too much already and now um this one has been grinded too much now there's not much uh gap left and so you know, what we can try to do is we can't run it down anymore so we need to use the tap seat and I'm going to show you here what I've got over here is a hydro seal tap seat replacement kit this kit here this piece here is going to sit on top of the tap seat and the wash is going to sit on top of here and we're going to use these uh, tools so I have this package here that I use to uh, replace the tap, uh, the tap seat and uh, if you uh, have, if your tap seat still has some life left in it, you can use this uh, tool to uh, uh, grind out the to grind out the rusty part. And this tool here, you can just put into a drill, and it will grind out the rusty part. Okay, the first part we need to do is turn off the main tap. So you can see it's running. We're gonna turn it off right now. So I'm taking this video at night time. Okay, so that stopped. Now once the main tap has been turned off, we're going to uh, take this one out. So here I'm going to use these tools to open up the cap. Right here. So I'm just going to turn off the tap to flush out any water, any pressure that might have left. Okay, I'm going to turn that one, open it. Pull this one out. Pull the handle out. And as well. We'll take this one out. Let's put it here. And because this one is all the way in, so we can use this extension and put it there and open it. You can also use a spanner and twist and open it. So once it's become loose, you can use your hand to remove it. Now you can see the washer is also worn out. The washer needs to be replaced as well. But more importantly, let's have, take a look inside here. So you can see, you can see it's really um, rusty from the inside. So you can see the rust, and it's not flat. It meant to be flat, but it's not flat. And you can see the gap right here. You can see the gap. There's not much space left in there. So. This part here, there's not much space left, so uh, we're going to need to use the tap seat and uh, let's see if we can fix it. Okay, we're going to use these tools here, the hydro seal tap seat replacement kit, and we're going to fit uh, fix it because the, my, my tap seat is completely worn out and it is it's on its last leg and uh, we're going to use this one here. To fix it okay the first thing is we're going to put this one in here you can see the thread maker is going to sit in here like this and this is going to um, going to be um, uh, turned into the tap tap seat and this one here goes in here like this and later we're going to use this to make the thread so let's come over here and have a look the other ones go in here and that's going to go and start to make a thread in here so I'm going to tighten this one 
I'm going to take this out first and now I'm going to tighten it. And I'm going to use this here and so this here is a guide, it helps to guide this one here. And then with this one in here, and I'm going to place that one in there, and we're going to twist and turn, and this will make a thread. So you need to push it in. So maybe just around that, you don't need to do around maybe that much, just enough, maybe just enough to fit the one in, you can see there's that much there that we need to do, just so that it fit right in, within that amount of space, just do maybe just one more turn, and then now I'm just going to do it in reverse to get it back out. Okay, now I'm just going to turn this one here to open it. And we're going to take a look here. So you can see it has made a thread now, but we need to um, flush out uh, the water in there, all that dirt, that metal needs to be flushed out before we can uh, do anything else. So I'm going to go to the main tab and so here we can see so I'm just going to go to the main tab and then turn on the main tab to uh, quickly flush it out first so Now you can see we've made some thread in there already. Okay, now that this part here is nice and clean, we're going to uh, put this one in, into here, and this will uh, tighten up. Like so. That's tightened already, so I'm just going to use the spanner to make it really tight. So this is a new uh, washer. Put it on here. This one here. So I'm gonna put this on this uh, tab. 
So there is a washer down here as well as also one which we need to do, uh, buy a new one to replace it so it doesn't leak out here. So this I just left over from the tap. So we just wait for a few seconds. You see it stopped. Yep. So now it stopped. As you can see. So you don't need to turn it tight. I can just turn it very light like that, and it will stop. Sometimes you might need to make the base clean before you can uh, uh, fix it. So if there's a lot of holes or if there's a lot of rust, make sure you get rid of the rust by using these tools here. So just then I show you the tools. So make sure you use these tools here and grind it down to make it nice and flat. And, and that should stop the leaking. So using that uh, tap seat repair replacement uh, should work. Uh, if it's still leaking, make sure that the base or the tap seat is grind down flat a little bit. You don't need to grind all the way down, just enough to make it uh, the hole small, to make the hole smaller, so that you can um, uh, have a nice and flat surface and there's no nowhere for the water to leak out. And that's how you can replace a uh, worn. Uh, tap seat without having to uh, pull out all the towels, without having to uh, knock down the towels and replace the new towels and you can see it works beautiful. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this video. Now we're just going to need to uh, uh, put all this part back. So you can, we can take this one out. Take a look here if there's any leaking. So have a good inspection. Make sure there's no leaking around. If there's no leaking, we can now put everything back. go inside here as well there is a black sealer and then we just put this one here on top so remember to uh, replace the new washer while you add it and that's it that's complete the whole thing thank you for watching this video